much more. Approved by the Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards. Come in to any of our two locations, Derek Roaches Village or Royal Road, Aruka. Give us a call at 671-3001 or 692-3629 or WhatsApp 384-25304 for quotations. Let your fashion do the talking with designs from Raquel Moda. Our boutique offers a wide range of clothing items, shoes, handbags, accessories, and perfumes for both the men and women. From brands like Robert Graham, Steve Madden, Coach, Victoria's Secret, Michael Kors, Ralph Lauren, Hush Puppies, and so much more. Visit our store at C3 Center Level 1 or give us a call at 765-6632. We are open Monday to Sunday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or on our website for fantastic deals. At RPM Express Couriers, we make your online shopping experience easy. Sign up with us and get your free account with no monthly or annual fees. You can pay online using our customer app or website. Don't have a credit card? No problem. We can make the purchase for you via our shopping assistance program. Download our app and track your package. Free nationwide delivery offers a curbside pickup. Call us at 224-4776, visit our website or send us an email for more info. RPM Express Couriers, the company that goes above and beyond. SNS Passal Supermarket comes to St. Mary's Free Port. With the wide aisles of variety, quality you can trust, a community hub and royalty rewards. When I say they have everything, they have everything from your fresh produce, your wines and spirits, your butcher meat, seafood, bakery, you name it, they have it. And with these prices, trust me. You're guaranteed to save some money in your pocket. So come on down and shop the deal at the brand new SNS Passat Supermarket. Then Mary's free. Attention all bakers, doubles vendors, and roti makers. Try our high-quality bromate free all-purpose and whole wheat flour. Low price and conveniently packaged in 2 pounds, 2 kg, 10 kg, and 25 kg bags. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chick Mutual Limited at 665-3336 or 4808715. Or visit us at Warrenville Canopia. Chick Mutual Limited. Quality you can trust. Introducing Berberine Plus by Aja Nutrition. Two doses a day keeps the blood sugar at bay, cholesterol levels in check, and your immune system strong. Made with ancient Ayurvedic ingredients, berberine, bitter melon, and banana leaf, Berberine Plus is clinically proven to improve glucose metabolism, enhance insulin sensitivity, and slows glucose absorption in the gut. Berberine Plus, providing a natural path to a healthier you. Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Are you diabetic, pre-diabetic, or at risk for diabetes? You need Berberine Plus by Aja Nutrition. Two doses a day keeps the blood sugar at bay, cholesterol levels in check, and your immune system strong. Made with ancient Ayurvedic ingredients, Berberine, bitter melon, and banana leaf, Berberine Plus is clinically proven to improve glucose metabolism, enhance insulin sensitivity, and slows glucose absorption in the gut. Berberine Plus, providing a natural path to a healthier you. Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Sukai's Diesel Service brings you outstanding and exceptional quality. We carry original parts, diesel pump and injector overhaul, diesel pump and injector testing, machine shop services, complete diesel engine overhaul, engine dyno testing, turbocharger repairs, government approved vehicle inspection station one, we are the premier source of all things diesel. Call us today for an appointment at 671-0900. If it's diesel, it's Sukai's Diesel. Tie Clinic has its big rim seal on. Get 20 to 50% off on the latest styles and sizes. We carry a variety of tires and tie equipments for agriculture and industrial needs at the best prices. Located at Kuva Shigonat and Pleasance Park, the Tire Clinic is tire for every need.
bar doors and windows. We are the largest supplier of hardwood finishing goods. Get kitchen and pool tiles, faucets, doors, windows, sinks, and so much more. Come in or give us a call. ABC Bar Doors and Windows, always a better choice. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. It's your journey, our passion at Brandtech. Visit us today at number 10 Londonville Main Road, Montreal, Chiguanas. Journey, our passion at Brandtech. Visit us today at number 10 Londonville Main Road, Montreal, Chiguanas. Step into a world of opportunities at CTS College, where education is beyond academics. Winner of over 50 world prizes, as well as ACTT Student Service Award. It's a college of your choice for quality education, guaranteed to unlock your true potential. Internationally recognized degree programs. Choose a degree that is right for you. Come in for your free career guidance session and start your future today with CTS College. Just got your CXC or CAPE results? Then start your degree today at CTS College and choose from many of our pathways in business management, business administration, human resource management, marketing, finance, management information systems, computer engineering, computing and information systems. Full and partial scholarships are available. CTS College, where education is beyond academics. by excessive hair loss, itchy flaky scalp, receding hairline, teenage and adult cystic acne, open pores, old scar marks, puffy dark eye circles, age spots, black lips, psoriasis, eczema or dermatitis? Do you want to get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, stretch marks, cellulite and discoloration around the neck, arms and between the legs? For a professional consultation and a microscopic analysis with Ms. Bagan, who has over 30 years of experience, call 673-7418 now. Enhance your space with extreme home and tile spying limited. Get porcelain and ceramic tiles, decorative security doors, toilet sets, space spaces, and more. Visit us at Perseverance Road Chase Village Corners or call 299-3271 for more info. Marketing Company Limited and view our large stock of ready-made wrought iron designs. Visit us at 44 Montrose Main Road Chiquanas or call 235-4283-GATE or 235-4766-IRON. Beat the heat at Kinko Limited Auto AC Parts and Services. Our techs have years of experience keeping you cool and comfortable. Exceptional prices, quality work and outstanding services. Call, WhatsApp or come in today and take advantage of our many specials. We are professionals in general construction, paving, asphalt services and preparation of residential and commercial developments. At Liqua Construction Services Limited, our team of professionals has the knowledge, experience and resources to make your projects run smoothly, on time, on budget. We supply red 
bed sand, gravel, oil sand and more. Equipment rental available. 20 ton excavators, mini excavators, porter cool, bulldozers, concrete pumps and so much more. Contact us today for a free site visit and quote. First five orders will receive a gift voucher from Raquel Muda or a Robert Graham polo shirt. Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West and much more. Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1,300 frames to choose from. <laughs> Janice, where's your secret? Your place is always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, girl, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. Jungle out, 
There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna come we ain't playing It's the last thing on our minds for crime Watch if you really, really wanna stop crime Be safe when you're home Be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold Cause someone's always beeping by the fender Still crime Watch came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream Like my new the There's a jungle out there And the hunt is on A jungle out there And the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down Yo, there's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, crying out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds for crime Watch if you really, really wanna stop crime Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold, cause someone's always beeping by the fence It's still crime, watch game and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna come, we ain't playing It's the last thing on our minds for crime Watch if you really, really wanna stop crime Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always beeping by the fence It's still crime, watch game and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's kid. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on a jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna come, we ain't playing It's the last thing on our minds for crime Watch if you really, really wanna stop crime Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always beeping by the fender Still crime, watch game and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new the There's a jungle, no hunt you down we're gonna hunt you down We're gonna come, we ain't playing It's the last thing on our minds for crime Watch if you really, really wanna stop crime Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always beeping by the fence It's still crime, watch game and give TNT confidence Hi good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Ian Allen, this is Crime Watch And we're back, top of the evening to you All those of you are locked online, a special good evening to you All those of you are looking at me from all over the world, a special good evening to you well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say a special good evening to also those of you religiously look at us on Ian Allen Network on, on YouTube. A special good evening to you. Religiously, religiously, religiously look at us on YouTube. A special good evening to you. Um, well, let's start it off this afternoon. I'm sure by you, you are aware that, and this is a very serious thing, we don't know the circumstances. We don't want to cast suspicions. We don't want to say, you know, anything to... to to compromise the investigation, but permanent um, businessman and the owner of um, the Dial Fitness Club and Castro's Restaurant and Sports Bar in Arima. Well, he's also a gym instructor. In fact, I met him at a, a, a function in December. So I know him well. I know him well. He knows me well. Um, that's Michael St. John, a.k.a. Big Mike. Um, he was shot. Now, we don't know the circumstances. He was shot in the... St. John was in the car park when an unknown SUV approached. Shortly after gone, many emerged from the vehicle and shot St. John in the face before fleeing the scene. He was subsequently taken to hospital where he received medical treatment. And it's very, very, it's very unfortunate. We don't know the circumstances. We don't know exactly what went on, but we all we know he's a gym instructor. I know persons that he trained and whatnot personally. Some of my friends, they train with him. But this is a very serious thing. This is a very, very serious thing. Um, gunman, gun, gunmen coming out. And this is craziness. This is really craziness. And these people were waiting. And they shot him. Parental guidance is strongly advised. Because 
Well, we had to blur some of the videos and whatnot, but it's very, very unfortunate. It's very sad. We, we all know Mikey, and it's very, very sad. Really wish him a speedy recovery. In fact, we saw a video with him on the ground also. We are, do we have audio on these clips? Take your time, man. Hey, yeah, light on my 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 So this is just by by long circular mall, yeah. You know, I've never, I've never, it's, it's been, I can't remember how much years ago I went to that mall. Like years ago. Yeah, I have been in that, I can't realize, I think about more than four or five years ago I went to that mall. And it's very, very, it's, it's. Open up your lines to me, please. Again, ladies and gentlemen, prominent businessman was shot in the face in Long Circular Mall car park. The victim has been identified as Michael St. John, a.k.a. Big Mike, the owner of the Dial Fitness Club and Castro's Restaurant and Sports Bar in Arima. St. John was in the car park when an unknown SUV approached. Shortly after gunmen emerged from the vehicle, shot St. John in the face before fleeing the scene. He was he subsequently taken. And, and stop right here, stop. That is why he stopped. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes when you're in a car park, there's already a wake-up call there yeah, because sometimes you really have to be observing because when you have a routine, you see a routine? Boy, a routine is something that's ready for you in place, you know? Your routine. And sometimes you have to be real careful going to gym. You have a, a routine. You have a routine every morning. You have a, that's why I don't really go to no gym or nothing. So, you know, if I have my people coming up to train me at my official home, and I don't really, you know, because see that routine thing? Not getting up in the morning, 5 o'clock. I know prominent business people doing that. And their wife getting up in the morning, 5 o'clock. Going by the gym every morning, every morning. Somebody could wait for you out there. How do you think Lee was shot? How do you think Lee was shot by, um, by, by massive stores? How do you think that fellow was shot? Because he had a routine. He'd go there every morning or night or whenever. And, you know, go in the morning, they drop him off and or whatever. And they, 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 they shot him. Strangely enough, my mind went to... I, you know, I'm reminded of Lee, the fellow who was shot by Marcy. Yeah. When I say these things, please already have the video queued up now. By the time you all do that now, please. So, still going back to the video that open up the lines. Hi, caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go back to the, the, the shooting, please. You see, normal, normal. And we don't know if that is a fake number plate. We don't know. But one, gu one gunman came out, out of the front, and fired shots. But, they, you know, they, they'll have to see how that car entered the mall, how long it was parked. And it's sad, you know, for the strain. And it's real sad. I mean, I, I, I know Mikey, I know. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. I don't know what... You know, I am not here to judge nobody. I don't know the circumstances, and I just know him as a, a trainer, and I know him as a, a popular person in Port of Spain. And look, I what what I mean, I, just, just what day somebody was training, and the video called me, and I ended up chatting with him, and he even asked me, say, Ian, I, yeah, I say I have to get you to train me, Mikey. It's sad. It's sad to be shot, and we don't know. You know, he was shot in his face, and. Really sad. I call her. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Allen. Good evening. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, the uh, Minister of National Security indicated that um, it is not his duty to make the country safer. But first thing, we have to ask ourselves, what is security? Right? And if he is the Minister of National Security, and his duty is not to make the country safer, well, then he's supposed to take his departure. Yeah. Because he's the Minister of National Security. Thank you again. And security... So as you can see me, and I mean, I was looking at the video on his face, you know. Yeah, boy. At least she was still conscious and to make a phone call or, you know, that, that, dialing, you know. That's just sad, boy. It's just sad. It's just like craziness. And there's a wake-up call for people going to gym now. When people want to get you there and abduct you and whatnot, stop. And I, I feel I've talked to people, you know. I mean, of course, we're trying our best, but you got to be careful, too. That routine thing. That gym thing. For you, I know the first thing people are going to say, if, if they want to get you, they will get you, they will get you, but you got to be careful, too. You got to be real careful. Look how this crime affecting, it just affected everybody. going to affect the gym now. Puss is going to a gym. People are concerned about what's going on. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Yeah. Hello. Good evening, <laughs> Mr. Allen. Yeah. I think there's too much nonsense you know, in this place. Too much demand. But the man do them for him to shoot the man. I find that so much nonsense. I miss an astrophysicist like he owes the TV. Thank you, caller. So if you have any information, I'm just showing you, just showing you, you see, come out normal, so now you don't know you're ready, but it's now you come out of a vehicle, go back to the actual video, please, you come out, you're moving around, you're packing things, you're normal, you're normal, you're on your phone, you're normal, a man just pull up just so, boy, that's just craziness, you know, you see how the problem is here? Yeah? These people have to understand the consequences. And that's why for the action, they have no fear. They, they have no fear for the action because they know they won't be caught. We should have already found that SUV, know that the cameras are wrong, they're working. You understand? They're in the vicinity of the barracks and whatnot. So that, I mean, it have cameras all up there. But it's just, it is just terrible and very, very unfortunate. And today... I am calling on persons to go to my website. Look what ianallen.org. Just a, a short while ago, right in the Kunupia area, they had a home invasion, and police were on the trail of the men, and they got all of them. Right in Chagorn, here a short while ago. They had dogs, they had everybody out there looking for them. Some guys who were responsible for a home invasion in Central a short while ago, and they did find them. Hard... Hats off to the hardworking police officers in Central. And today I ask you that if you have information with respect to this senseless shooting of this man, get in contact with me. If you, all I'm asking you to do is to go to, our, to go to the website and give us information. And I know you will go. You will go. No username, no password. Just, just go to the website and send the information. That's all you need to do. Just send the information. Send it. Send it to the website and so we could do what we have to do and go find the shooters. And you know we can find them. Yeah, but this is this is just craziness. You know, coming out of the gym, walking around and my gunman just come out just so and start a fire shot. Watch him. Just train people. And I know people go there religiously. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Good evening, Mr. Alim. Good evening. Ha Happy New Year to you and your staff. S thank you. Same to you. This is my opinion. Eh? I don't believe crime could be solved unless big people start to get arrested and charged. I am certain the police has evidence of about five ministers. But why they're not arrested and charging them? I don't know. The only reason I could come up with, 
that somebody in the police service is the number one PNM party group. Thank you very much. Well, that is the opinion of the caller. Also, a man was shot. Another case, an, 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 another sh unrelated shooting. Ladies and gentlemen, a man was shot and wounded along uh, Belair Road, Belmont, on Wednesday. We don't know the circumstances. All you know, he was shot and... and and, um, but he has not been identified as yet, so that was another shooting today. Also, ladies and gentlemen, just yesterday I was talking about the, the school violence and whatnot. A 15-year-old schoolboy was severely beaten and left unconscious in Digo Martin. Around 3, a, 3 p.m., a taxi driver found the form for a student of Digo Martin Central Secondary School, lying unconscious on the ground along Jasper Avenue, and two other teenagers were seen fleeing the scene. The police and paramedics were notified the 15-year-old boy was taken to Digo Martin Health Facility where he was treated and stabilized before being transferred to Mount Hope, where he reported he suffered two, seizure, two seizures while undergoing treatment. And it's very sad that recently we have seen the, the bullying and the, the school fights being surfaced. Before you control the hair, before you tell them it have introduction to national hair code, there's an introduction to national hair code by the Ministry of Education. Deal with the bullying first. We got fixed here after. Deal with the bullying. You have to deal with the bullying. So the cart before you was deal with the bullying. So that was here code. This was some young girl who had some problems with her here in Carpichaima. One of the Carpichaima school there. But they have an introduction to here code. But you have to maintain your proper hair and your hair to look neat and nice and all kind of thing. You understand? But it was sorted out. I spoke to the, I spoke to the persons and it was sorted out. I think it's Carpe Chima, Joanna Junior, second, the, the other one. But I was sorted out. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, imagine a, a school child beaten. He attended the, the Digo Martin Central Secondary School. He was lying unconscious at Jasper Avenue. And two other teenagers, schoolboys, were seen fleeing. We have a little photograph. And that is sad. Look, he, is he in school uniform? He's in school uniform. And it's very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. And, and this, this is a very serious thing because... Innocent people, children are going to school. They are mothers and fathers who sacrifice every day to send their children to school. They, 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 they make night and turn it into day to make money and work taxi and do extra, extra jobs, work overtime to give your children good things. And they, they, they are the ones who will beat them up, take their money and do them all kind of thing. And this should not be tolerated and we need to see more students, more students disciplined and suspended from school. We, we, I mean, it kind of boils long. I don't know what's the problem. It shouldn't boil long. The moment they fly up, you have to send them home. You have to send them home. If we send up, if we, if we had done that in the last two, three months, boy, I tell you, watch me. Every time we have about five people, because I don't run from the fight, they will run. Because once we pick your partner and you're chaining on and you're pushing and you're, and, and you're, you're, you know, you're instigating the fight, you're going up the road. So as our fight starts, you're going to run from it one time. You are waiting for nothing. You are waiting for nothing, for nobody phone to pick you up. And it's a serious thing. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a soldier has been charged in connection, remember the soldier, in connection with the mother and daughter. He has been charged in connection with the shooting death of a mother and daughter in their Glencoe home last Tuesday. The accused was identified at Teston Bradshaw, a warrant officer to of Trian Tobago, defense force who was assigned to Captain Komoto on off Madeley Gardens, Arima. Officers of the Homicide Bureau Investigation Region 1 visited the office of the Director of Public Prosecution, Roger Gaspard, yesterday, 
where they presented evidence and received instruction to Charles Bradshaw with the murder of her three-year-old, Kalida Shamba, and her mother, Kamalita De Leon, at their home in Shawlands Glencoe on Tuesday, the 2nd of January. Bradshaw was also charged with two counts of misbehavior in public office. Hours after he committed, hours after he committed the murders, he was arrested in the forested area of the Blanchichers Road in Arima. You remember that? After he committed the murders, police well they, they picked him up. We have a we have a, 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 a video of that. When we come back, we're going to take a fast break, and when we come back, we'll continue. This Christmas, SNS Facade gave out over $5,020 coupon, valued at over $100,000. We hit Rio Claro, Maya Road, Hoover, even St. Mary's to give back to the customers we love. Here's the best part. If you collect your coupon, we are extending the period to redeem to the end of January 2024. on wheels with brand tech limited buy three tires and get one free on selected sizes contact us at 609 tire merry christmas from the brand tech family
Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Health is not a sprint. It's a marathon, Jen. You know that. You got this. Nutrients for immune system support, heart health, and energy metabolism. But remember, you have more than regular energy. It's Jennifer Lopez energy. Or J-Lo energy. Seems forced. Jenny from the block energy. Overdone. Jenergy. Jenergy! Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. After huge success in Mokoya, La Rumin and Salt Park Mall for the first time ever, Indian Style Expo will be at the Air Conditioned Dome at Mid Center Mall from January 6. Over 60 merchants get all that you need garments, furniture, handicraft, footwear, jewelry, and so much more. For the first time ever in Trinidad, be sure to check out our $20 food court. Yes, you heard right, but that's not all. When you spend over $200, you also get a free meal. Bring your kids to the arcade while you shop. The Indian Style Expo at the Air Conditioned Dome, Mid Center Mall, starting on January 6th from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, including weekends and holidays. Passage to Asia Ultra Premium All Inclusive at Mocha Marvel. Sunday, 28 January from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pouring premium bubbly with over 30 dishes and delicious desserts with a live performance by Keza Band. She tell me that yours, baby. The Music Boss, Raymond Romneroy, and Dylan Nadan. Featuring Nyla Blackman, The Baron, Iward George, Santa Cruz All Stars Rhythm Section, Limited Early Bird $1,000. Get your tickets at Passage to Asia Restaurants and all advertised outlets. 
Rain's Fresh Produce Retail Outlet and Wholesale Department, Rain's Pharmaceuticals and Rain's Tasty Food is a sole company dedicated to providing fresh local and imported fruits and vegetables, affordable healthcare and delicious meals for all at unbelievable prices. We have a wide variety to choose from apples, grapes, strawberries, plums to all your local produce, wholesale case options also available. Enjoy our mouth-watering breakfast and lunch dishes prepared fresh every day. Our trusted and reliable pharmaceutical department is well stocked with all prescription medication, over-the-counter drugs and other health-related products. Head on down to number 83 Endeavor Road Chagonas and shop in comfort and safety. Contact us today. We are open Monday to Saturday. At Rains, we are committed to serving you. KSR Medical and KSR Pharmacy remain committed to providing quality and affordable health care to patients. We offer diagnostic, therapeutic and preventive outpatient services, specialized treatments of diabetes, sciatica, stroke, weight loss and chronic pain management. Patients can also benefit from our pharmacy where qualified personnel are always ready to assist. KSR Medical Clinic and Pharmacy, located at number 133 Southern Main Road, Edinburgh, Chagonas. Call 740-3497 or 393-6297. Thank you, friends and avid viewers, as you continue to support Crime Watch via our PayPal and FCB account. Support Crime Watch with a minimum donation of $5 from anywhere in the world. Donate via our PayPal, oneen.allen at gmail.com or wire transfer to FCB account 1898739 with the SWIFT code. Be a part of the movement. With the brand new Passage One Card, earning points is as easy as shopping at any Passage Booking supermarket, Bright Ideas and Crave. And let me show you how easy it is to redeem points. You can redeem your points when you shop for new curtains, household items, decor, flowers and seasonal items at Bright Ideas. You can enjoy discounts at our loyalty partners. Yaro Family Medicine Pharmacy with 10% off every $100 spent. Occumed Health, Safety and Wellness for discounts up to 10% on your doctor's visit. 11th Avenue Doctor's Office for 10% off your first visit. Dr. Rampol's Family Practice for 10% off your visit. Plus, Guardian Life of the Caribbean for 5% off for new customers. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. A man was charged with negotiating a ransom for the kidnapping of businesswoman Anisha Narayan Budo, who has been denied bail. The suspect identified as Jason Brong, also known as Abdul Karim. Brong was remanded into custody when he appeared in Portland Magistrate Court on Monday, the 8th of January. He was charged by ASP Ramdas of the Anti-Kidnapping Unit. Based, on, based on, on advice received from the Office of Director of Public Prosecution, over the weekend, under the kidnapping act, a person convicted of demanding and negotiating a ransom for the release of a kidnapped victim may face no less than 25 years in prison. On Friday, the 29th of December, Narayan Budu, one of the proprietors of Autorama Limited, was reported in a Toyota Prado SUV parked near El Socorro home when she was blocked by a black SUV with blue flashing lights. Four men who reported dressed in tactical gear then exited the vehicle and approached Budo and bundled her in the via vehicle. However, five days after, she was released. So a man identified as Jason Brown, also known as Abdul Karim, has been charged. He has been charged and was remanded into custody when he appeared before Paulus Payne Magistrate Court on, at the Paulus Payne Magistrate Court on Monday, the 8th of January. Also, ladies and gentlemen, um, a police officer from the St. Jose Police Station who was captured slapping a man's phone out of his hand in Europe yesterday has been issued disciplinary notice. Again, the police officer that, was, that is attached to St. Joseph Police Station who was captured slapping a man's phone out of his hands in Europe yesterday has been issued a disciplinary notice. In a short clip, the officer was seen approaching the man to give him what appeared to be a ticket. The man pulled out his phone and attempted to take a, a photo of the photo of the officer who slapped the phone out of his hands before walking away. An investigation was initiated and the tribunal is expected to be held to determine what action will be taken. Just on Friday the 5th, a woman police constable, just on Friday the 5th, a woman police constable from the same police station received a disciplinary notice and was transferred allegedly to, to, to Toko Police Station 
following a, a, a abusive response towards a citizen who called to make a report. Nobody else has called us as yet. Okay, Joseph Christian, good morning. WP Adversary. Hi, Kade. Um, my wife called this morning, probably about two hours ago, to report um, a home robbery. We had called E999. Um, they mm. said that they would call the station, but nobody else has called us as yet. Okay, so what are you all doing? Saying that home and waiting for the police to call all yeah? You don't know where the station is? Well, at, excuse me? Do you know where the station is, St. Joseph yeah, Station? Yes. So why you all don't come in and make a formal report? Come back to me. Thanks, man. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just I'm just telling you one time that the um Uh, home invasion in Ramgoli, Trace, Chin Chin Kunopea, three armed men stole each electronics and, and computer of, and cash. Police presently searching the Latu Trace and environs. Three men detained and are currently at the Kunopea police station. This is in connection with a, a, a home invasion at Ramgoli, Trace, Chin Chin Kunopea. Three armed men stole electronics, quantity of cash. Um, police were uh, searching the Latu Trace and environs. Just to let you all know that the men were held a short while ago and they are all detained at the Kunupia police station. Hats off to the great work, in, great, great work done by, by Central Division. Hats off to them. Hats off to them. Uh, um, a 33-year-old woman was arrested and is expected to be appear before a Princess Town magistrate to be charged for damaging her ex-boyfriend vehicle and property in Princess Town on Sunday. Again, a 33-year-old woman was arrested and is expected to appear before a Princess Tong magistrate to be charged for damaging her ex-boyfriend's vehicle and property in Princess Tong. Around 12.20 a.m., the suspect reported this story to the 35-year-old victim, who is an officer attached to a special branch unit of Toronto Tobago Police Service, lying with another woman in a bar in the, in the area. She subsequently confronted the officer, ripped his jersey and burst his chain causing him to flee the bar with his female friend. When he returned to his house, he heard his ex-girlfriend screaming outside. Upon checking, he observed her throwing bricks at, at his home, breaking five windows, as well as the front door, in an attempt to get inside. The woman then smashed the left side front and rear glass window of his car. What? Real psycho thing with she, boy? The officer not, um, notified his colleague and a team of lawmen from the Princess Town Police responded and detained the woman at the scene. So you see how sometimes things could happen? So a 33-year-old woman was arrested. A man was arrested and charged after he was caught with two shotguns at his home in Erin on Wednesday, the 10th of January. Again, a man was arrested and charged after he was caught with two shotguns at his home in Erin on Wednesday, the 10th of January. Around 7 a.m., Southwestern Division officers were conducting an Operation Blue in Line exercise. A Blue Line exercise, sorry, when they, were, when they received information and proceeded to a residence in the, in the area, in, sorry, in the in Arena Village, Erin. When they arrived at the location, they executed a search warrant for firearms and ammunition. During the surge, the officers found two shotguns in, in a kennel at the back of the house and tw a 25-year-old man was arrested and conveyed to Penal Police Station where he was charged with possession of firearm for the purpose of trafficking. The team comprised of officers of Southwestern Division, Gang Intelligence Unit, Southwestern Division Task Force, K-9 Unit, along with officers from Penal Santa Flora and Erin Police Station. So again, a man was arrested and charged after he was caught with two shotguns. These are the shotguns. Open up the lines. I call a good evening. You're live on Crime Watch.
Hi, Caller. Good evening. We're hearing, ladies and gentlemen, about a, a, a shooting at Samaru Village, Arima. If anybody could shed some light on that for me. I just heard about it. Two persons were just shot at Sam Samaru Village, Arima. That's all I'm hearing right now. So I'm going to check and see if anybody messaged me or any police officer sent me a text or somebody from that area. But I'm hearing, ladies and gentlemen, that two persons were shot a short while ago. I guess everybody um, so again if you have any information with respect to the shooting get in contact with me and just to let you know with respect to the the home invasion in Ramgoli Trace Chin Chin Kunupia, where the three men stole electronics and a quantity of cash Police officers did the, did find the man, and they are currently at the Kunupia Police Station. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a man was arrested after he was caught with STC pill at a Mini Martin Enterprise. Remember, he had just just off yesterday, and um, we, you, all, you, you all should have brought back that story from when the people in in Arangwes was found. A man was arrested after he was caught with ecstasy pills and a mini mad. It should have been on the rundown. Here, right here. It should have been on the rundown. A man was arrested after he was caught with ecstasy pills at a mini Martin enterprise. I am not doing the rundown, but I, look, I, I can tell you off the bat. I need to see it right after a connecting story. Around 3 30 p.m., Central Division officers proceeded to premises along John Street, Mano Drive Enterprise, where they executed a search warrant for firearms and ammunition. While conducting a search of a mini-mart on the premises, the officers found a transparent plastic bag containing 20 STC pills. One man was subsequently arrested and was, conv was conveyed to the Central Division Task Force. Just about, just about a day ago, just about a day ago, officers intercepted a car in And uh, two, uh, just on Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen, of, uh, two Tobagonian men were arrested after they were caught with approximately 20 liters of liquid ecstasy in their vehicle. Around 12 p.m., a team of officers led by Corporal Foster received intelligence and went to Chotu Road where they intercepted a Nissan Tida, which was occupied by two men ages 22 and 24. The officers conducted a search on the vehicle and found five liter bottles containing the drug. The two suspects were subsequently arrested and PC Babulal is continuing. This was on Tuesday. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you are hearing about a man arrested after he was caught with STC pill. I mean, that is craziness. So it just goes to show, look, look, look at it, it's just in Chagonas also. It is just in Chagonas also. He had um, 20, 20 STC pills. And I'm, I'm, I'm just showing you how fine and, and, and how small this tablet is. And it could always be, you know, it could be put into a drink. It could put into a, 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 a beer bottle. You understand? So it just, put, it, it just gives you a height. It's gives you a high pie. It's gives you a high pie. Sometimes and you, 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 you have energy. You're, you're using it. And sometimes you can't sleep all night. And the next day you might sleep. And make you do silly things and all kind of things. It's just, you're, you're just being a hyper thing. On a hyper thing. And sometimes it could have a, a, a different reaction to somebody else. Sometimes somebody might get hyper. Somebody might go into a, get a seizure. Somebody might go into a zone. Yeah, you understand? Somebody might just stick out their clothes and sort of walk up the road. All kind of thing. The different drugs have different responses to a person's body. You know, it acts differently. You understand? It's a very, very serious thing because... Again, it just goes to show how it is wrong right now because just here, yeah, just on Tuesday, uh, two guys, two Tobagonian guys, so that means it's in Tobago because two, 
Guys were held with about five liters of liquid ecstasy to, to make it. Now you're looking at our man in Enterprise now. He have the tablet, so it just circulating, and that's just somebody that they found. You understand? What about people who just have it and just moving around with it and waiting for your daughter or somebody to be around or your teenage daughter to go on a date with them or something? Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hello? Good evening, Ian. This is yeah, 98. And, uh, yeah, 98. Are you good? To you and, and the family and the crew. Good, good, good. Ian, yeah, can you bring up that ecstasy for um, 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 the video? Do you know about three months ago or just before, yeah, about three to four months ago, do you know it is alleged that a Chinese national was, was held in a sting operation, not sting operation, but in a search warrant exercise, and he was, he was held in a mini lab manufacturing methamphetamine. Have you yeah. heard about that? Yeah, I know about it. Okay, okay, I'll say no more then. Have a blessed one here. I know about family. it, the Chinese national, and that's why I tell you, she was charged. She's a... He was charged, yeah. Ketamin, yeah. And he was charged, yeah, like a, like a little mini lava. So I don't want to go back to that. I'm at it before the courts. But nevertheless, they're running it different. They're running it different right now. They're running it different. Illegal playway, no, all over. They open back right by Price Plaza entrance. <coughs> the back. The east, the east side of, the, of, of, of it. So I see they're operating normal, so that's great. We wish them all the best. Shagunas, they open the, the illegal gambling machines and whatnot. They're not paying no taxes. So leave them. Don't say we didn't warn you all. That's all. So a guy I know, <coughs> outside, come out to smoke a cigarette. So we're going to take a fast break. This break is brought to you Fab India Expo. Um, remember, support uh, Passage Asia present Mocha Extreme Ultra Premium All Inclusive at the St. Andrews Golf Club Car Park Mocha on Carnival Sunday, 11th of February from 4 p.m. to 10. Live performance by Bungie Garling, Fayan Lyons, Nyla Blackman, Iowa George Ravi B, and Carman, much, much more. They'll tell you all the tickets and also a special. Hello to RPM, Express Couriers, um, Neo Eyewear, Serenity Hills Palace. And just as I said, it's located in Matura Singh Trace. And you should look at this place and you, should, you can book it. The number is on the screen there. You can book it from most romantic room, the calmest pool, accompanied by our expansive outdoor deck and whatnot. Look back at the ad. I want to say a special hello to Charon's Bookstore and Passat the Food King Supermarket. We're going to take a fast break. When we come back, we'll continue. Asia Ultra Premium All Inclusive at Mocha Marvel Sunday 28th January from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. pouring premium bubbly with over 30 dishes and delicious desserts with a live performance by the Band, the Music Boss Raymond Rumnerai and Dylan Nadan. Featuring Nyla Blackman, The Baron, Iwa George, Santa Cruz All Stars Rhythm Section, Limited Early Bird $1,000. Get your tickets at Passage to Asia Restaurants and all advertised outlets. At RPM Express Couriers, we make your online shopping experience easy. Sign up with us and get your free account with no monthly or annual fees. You can pay online using our customer app or website. Don't have a credit card? No problem. We can make the purchase for you via our shopping assistance program. Download our app and track your package. Free nationwide delivery, office or curbside pickup. Call us at 224-4776. Visit our website or send us an email for more info. RPM Express Couriers, the company that goes above and beyond. Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, George Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West and much more. 
Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1,300 frames to choose from. Come to light in a relaxing staycation at the beautiful Serenity Hills Palace. Nestled in the heart of South Trinidad, you can enjoy quiet scenic views. We provide spacious, fully furnished air-conditioned rooms with accommodations for up to 15 persons. Enjoy a day at the luxurious poolside, fully equipped with an outdoor kitchen, barbecue grill, poolside bar, and lounge areas. Overnight and day passes are available to fit your staycation needs. Find us on Facebook, call or WhatsApp 1917-239-5799 to book your stay. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. It's a massive back to school sale at Charon's Bookstore. Get all your primary, secondary, and tertiary education textbooks, stationery, and school uniforms. Located at San Juan, Tunapuna, two levels at Trin City Mall, and our newest location, number 10 Main Road, Diego Martin. <laughs> Janice, where's your secret? Your place always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, Gil, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. So we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're hearing about it again. We're hearing about the shooting in, in Samaru Village, Arima. That's all we're hearing. Shots fired. Person saying that they heard um, they heard they heard, they heard these shots and whatnot. And um, okay, that's all we're hearing right now. So if you, if you are wrong that area right now, maybe you can send me a WhatsApp or send me a photo on Ian Allen. Yeah, on ianallen.org, you go to my website. Oh, also, ladies and gentlemen, um, you can send me a WhatsApp on 2944081. Also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a CCTV footage captured a man identified as Denzel Walcott from Duncan Street, Port of Spain, robbing a food vendor in El Dorado on Sunday, 31st of December. That is all we have right now. He has been identified as a Denzel Walcott. All right, robbing a. Uh, a food vendor in El Dorado. So this is the, the footage that we have here. Everybody has a little business. Everybody's trying. That's crazy. Hey boy, how much money could you really get from a burger guy? Uh, 
That's really sad, boy. You know how frustrating that is? We believe that this person could assist. Can I see that video, please? I saw a guy walk up to the front a while ago. Do we have that? That is craziness, that is craziness, and that is lawlessness, and if, you know, whoever can assist, we need to find them. Even without shooting in, 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 in Hummingbird Drive, suspects are in custody. Remember, we, we were searching for individuals. That is all I can tell you in connection with a, suit, a shooting. I did find them. Just to let you know that in connection with a shooting in Hummingbird Drive in 500, we did get persons involved, and they're in custody right now. So those of you who heard the shot and whatnot, I did find the person, I did find who I was looking for. That is all I can tell you. That is all I can tell you. That is all I can tell you. That is all I can tell you, don't, right? Um, just go back to that food, the, the food stall and they really ask, how much money do you think this guy really making? He has no big time cart, he doesn't have a helper. He might be making a sandwich, a burger, a hot dog, selling a juice or something and here you have your, here you, you just come with a gun and rob people and that is craziness. That is craziness and when people ask, you know, I mean, how money you think you really make in there? No big set of money, make a couple hundred dollars. Then on a major, on a major food place. I guess he might be working for someone. And that's why you notice a lot of these food carts and whatnot across Trinidad and Tobago closing off early. That are closed off early, a lot of business, even if you drive through Kuva, it's like a ghost town. You go through Kuva, no restaurant, nobody, no place open in Kuva. And the chamber should be highlighting that more, that, that it's terrible. So, uh, Kuva automatically becomes a ghost town at night. And a lot of places, even in Central, a lot of people not selling. They're scared to sell. They're scared, they, 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 they're scared to open up. They're scared to upgrade. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Take the audio down on your set when you are calling. And a special good evening to all those who are looking at us, who have downloaded the app. Those of you who are looking at us from Facebook, on Ian Allen Network on Facebook. Those of you who are looking at the show either on Facebook or Ian Allen Network. And you're looking at all the videos and whatnot on the Ian Allen Network on YouTube. A special good evening to you. I heard that my good friend from London, he's supposed to give me a call. I get even you're live on crime watch. So but it's really sad. It's just it, it, it just crazy. Hi caller, good evening. You're live on crime watch. Hello, good evening, Mr. Ian. Hi, good, good afternoon. Evening. Carson here from London. Hey, Carson from London. What's happening? I told we were supposed to do drinks, boy. <laughs> we, still, we still will. We still will. We you're still, will, you're still sure. in Trinidad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still here, man. I'm still here. I'm still All here. right. I'm just by weekend, by weekend, Carson. Don't go back to London before we do drinks. For sure, for sure, for sure. I'm just watching your program tonight, Ian. I just want to say you're doing a great job with your team. Um, highlighting all the crazy stuff that's going on in Trinidad here. I'm very, very shocked and disappointed with the state of affairs and the government's handling of all the issues. You know, it's very shocking. And the main thing I would like to say is that the people of Trinidad need to really 
stand up and, and you know, do something about it. The people have to do something. The government is not doing anything. And it's time the people really take to the streets, you know, and and get justice for themselves because the government isn't doing anything. Carson, we need what? a new government. We need a new government in charge. That yeah, don't worry, Carson. Don't people. worry. If we be fixing anything, boy, we fixing it. We fixing it. Don't worry. We're going to make sure that that's great again. Don't worry. Something has to be done, Ian, but you're doing a great job. You know, you're, you've always been working for the people. You know, you always do a great job for the people. And, you know, without you, half the stuff that's um, being highlighted wouldn't be highlighted. You know, so keep doing a good job, Ian, and hopefully we'll catch up soon, man. Thanks again, Carson. Right, yeah, have a blessed night. A good Take friend care. from London. And, yeah, so somebody just asked me, did you get the guy? I said, yeah, we got the guy in connection with the shooting. And as we're going after them, we're going after them, we're going after them, we're going after them. Also, ladies and gentlemen, it's so sad. And I don't like to say committed suicide. I don't like to use that word comes to suicide. I don't know the circumstances, but nevertheless, they are saying that a teen committed suicide at his home in Freeport. He's been identified as Sean uh, Mirza of Mirza Road, Three Roads Junction, Freeport. That's all we're hearing. Around 4.45, Mirza was reported found hanging from a mango tree branch at the back of his home by his grandmother. She raised an alarm and Mirza was cut down. However, he all attempts to revive him proved futile. Really sad. It's somewhere in this road here that he, he, he was found hanging from a mango tree. And that's why a lot of teenagers, in the, you know, you can't come down on them, you can't pressure them. A lot of people like to pressure their children, pressure them into getting into careers. I mean, they, they, of course, they must do the right thing, but, you know, don't pressure your children into, into getting into careers, pressure them to become a doctor. If this one is a doctor, that one is a doctor. It's like they pressure. The worst thing you can do is to push a child into a career that he or she doesn't want to go. And they get depressed. They get depressed and sometimes they have no way in really speaking to anyone because times are different and if you notice any symptoms like that, your child, your child or your nephew or your niece might be displaying that kind of tendency. Try to get counseling. It's very, very unfortunate. I mean, as a young person, just 15 years old, that is, that is really, really sad. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we say, uh, we say uh, a special prayer, a special prayer, ladies and gentlemen, for the, 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 the parent, for the family of this little boy. It's very, very sad. We don't know the circumstances and airing this to the families, not in no way to discredit you all, to discredit your family in any way, but it's a, it's a wake-up call for persons who might have young ones among you and coming up 13, 14, 15, 12, and sometimes they get depressed and, you know, sometimes they have no way to go, they have no way to run, and they have no one to talk to, and that's why it's important that, you know, family, you know, you all talk and find out what's going on if you notice something with a, 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 a loved one and he, you know, he might be going into a kind of withdrawal symptoms and, and sometimes you don't know a lot of things could, could contribute to that not only depression at home but sometimes bullying bullying is a very serious thing and I keep telling I keep telling the government that, that bullying is a very serious thing and bullying could drive a, 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 the victim the school child into suicide because when someone is being bullied they drop in their school work they don't want to go to school they don't want to talk to nobody and so now you might feel they have attitude, but it's not an attitude, it's, 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 it's that they're facing monsters at their school. And that is what our normal school children are facing every day, monsters. They are facing monsters. And sometimes you don't know because he might be a victim of school violence or what. You don't know, you just don't know, you just, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm just telling you that those of you, I mean, I have read about it, I've studied it and whatnot, that you need to pay attention to, to persons being bullied. And, but it's just sad with respect to this, to this to this 15 year old who has been identified as Sean Mirza of Mirza Road, Tree Road Junction, Freeport. It's very, very sad. It's very, very unfortunate. We're going to take a fast break. When we come back, we'll continue. Are you embarrassed by excessive hair loss, itchy, flaky scalp, receding hairline, teenage and adult cystic acne, open pores, old scar marks, puffy dark eye circles, eight spots, black lips, psoriasis, eczema, or dermatitis? 
Do you want to get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, stretch marks, cellulite, and discoloration around the neck, arms, and between the legs? For a professional consultation and a microscopic analysis with Ms. Bagan, who has over 30 years of experience, call 673-7418 now. Premium All Inclusive at Mocha Marvel. Sunday, 28 January, from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pouring premium bubbly with over 30 dishes and delicious desserts with a live performance by the Band, the Music Boss, Raymond Rumnerai, and Dylan Nadan. Featuring Nyla Blackman, The Baron, Iward George, Santa Cruz All Stars Rhythm Section, Limited Early Bird $1,000. Get your tickets at Passage to Asia Restaurants and all advertised outlets. SNS Passat Supermarket comes to St. Mary's Freeport with the wide aisles of variety, quality you can trust, a community hub, and royalty rewards. When I say that I have everything, I have everything from your fresh produce, the wines and spirit, your butcher, meat, seafood, bakery, you name it, they have it. And with these prices, trust me, you're guaranteed to save some money in your pocket. So come on down and shop the game at the brand new SNS Passage Supermarket, St. Mary's Free. Army Hardware and Superstore Company Limited, we make hardware shopping a lot easier and affordable. We have everything from foundation to finish. New Wave or are using circular decking pan, pre-painted PVDF, BRC grade 1 red blocks, eco cement, corrugated or smooth steel and so much more. Approved by the Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards. Come in to any of our two locations, Derek Loches Village or Royal Road Aruka. Give us a call at 671-3001 or 692-3629 or WhatsApp 384-25304 quotations. This Christmas, SNS Passat gave out over $5,020 coupon valued at over $100,000. We hit Rio Claro, Maya Road, Cuba, even St. Mary's to give back to the customers we love. Here's the best part. If you collect your coupon, we are extending the period to redeem to the end of January 2024. to shop and see big this Christmas and that's an SNS Facade Supermarket. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show and watch your business transform. 
call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. You're live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Now that is why I tell you every day, make sure and look at Crime Watch. Make sure and always locked on because you're going to get the news. You're going to get the news and you're going to get it as we get it. Um, the, the shooting in Samaru Village, Arima, Apparently, was at a private house. That's all we hear in a private house. A place called a private house. That's all I'm getting. A place called a private house. And uh, a, um, a prison official was shot. A prison guard was shot. Known as a tonkey. Well, a prison guard, they, you know, in Trinidad, they call him a, ton um, a tonkey. Well, that's what they describe them. But it's, it's, it's a prison guard. A prison officer was shot. Um, could you all put it up? A prison officer was shot and another man shot in his leg at a private house. That is all we are hearing right now at Saramaru Village, Arima. We just dispatched a camera crew up there to go up and see what we could get. But nevertheless, if you have information, whatever information you have right now, please send it to me on 1-866-294-4081. That's 294-4081. No, um, if you have videos and whatnot, you could send it. If you want to send it anonymously, you could go to ianallen.org. No username, no username, no password. Remember, you can make videos of illegal gambling places, places selling drugs, places selling guns and whatnot, and send it directly to me on ianallen.org. Okay, but again, this is breaking news. Uh, a, a prison guard shot, shot. We heard that he was shot. Now, we, we, we are hearing that someone died. Um, all we know that one was shot in the head, another shot on the foot. But all we know is two persons shot at Samaru Village. This is breaking news. And just imagine for today, look at, I mean, look at exactly what's happening. If you can just take a, 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 just a fast break, there's something I want to listen to on my phone. Christmas, SNS Facade gave out over $5,020 coupon for the Thank you, friends and avid viewers, as you continue to support Crime Watch via our PayPal and FCB account. Support Crime Watch with a minimum donation of $5 from anywhere in the world. Donate via our PayPal, one ianallen at gmail.com, or wire transfer to FCB account 1898739 with the SWIFT code. Be a part of the movement. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or Company not making money—that's because no one knows about you. Um. All right. So we all, all we're hearing again—it's a—it's a, a, a 
a prison officer. That's all we are hearing. We are hearing it's a prison officer. That's all we are hearing. Um, a private house is a, a, it's, it's known as a, as a bar. It's a bar in Samaru village, Arima. So two persons were just shot. And it was really, it was really terrible today because even the owner, the owner of the gym, the popular gym, was shot. The, um, the owner of the Dial Fitness Club and, at, and Castro's Restaurant and Sports by in Arima was shot. Michael St. John, a.k.a. Big Mike. Everybody knows him. Everybody knows him. He's a very popular guy in the Port of Spain area. He trains a lot of pro, uh, prominent figures, attorneys and whatnot. Okay? And he was shot today. This is the video. When he came out and the guy... Um, if you could start over the video, please. Right? As you can see, Mike, uh, Michael St. John, Big Mike, a.k.a. Big Mike... This is so sad, yeah. This is so so sad. And now we're hearing while all this going on, shooting and robbery, we're hearing about two persons shot. We're hearing one is a prison officer. That's all I'm hearing. Can't really officially confirm it, but someone just said it's a, it looks like it's a prison officer. Start posting those things on, on my page, please. This is him here trying to when he was shot. We had to blur it because blood was coming out from his mouth and was well, really, really sad. And just imagine that December month, the first week in December, I met Mike at a function in Port of Spain at a party. And we chat for a little while and I even tell him I said I had to come up by US boy. Boy, this is craziness, yes? Craziness. And that's why a lot of people don't understand being in positions where the positions that we are in, how serious it is when we say we're fighting crime and we're trying to fix this place and you all think that people come here and just talk crap and we compromise our safety every day. We compromise our safety for this, this land called Trinidad and Tobago and people never understand that, you know. We compromise it every day. Come and stand before you and say, if you have information, get in contact with me. This, it's, it's a serious thing. It's a serious dance we're in. It's a serious dance. We go after gunmen every day. We go after persons breaking law, persons with guns, persons with drugs. Umpteen persons you have seen arrested on Crime Watch. And people just take this for granted and feel that like this is just a show. Well, it's a show. I like this show. This is not what no show, you know. This is real. This is real. People are, people are compromising. Why do we don't have credits on our show? Tanking the cameraman, tanking master control, tanking researchers. We can't do that because, because of the severity and, 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 the, and, and the nature of the job. It's so dangerous that we, we, we can't do that because some of them live in areas that, you know, we don't want a boy to know that they, 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 they work crime watch. That is how serious it is because some people, everybody will ask, but how come you just end your show without credits? And I stopped the credits years ago because I realized that, you know, I don't want a boy to know where, where, where who living and who working. And we, don't, we don't want that. We don't want that. But it's a serious thing. So when we come and tell you, if you have information, get in contact with us. Go to my website. And some of you take it for granted. Some of you just don't care. You just take it for granted and say, okay, okay, okay. But you don't understand the seriousness. The seriousness. How I compromise my safety. How I, how, by doing this for what? For what? For why would I do this? Why do I continue to do this year after year after year after year after year after year? Because... We love this place. We love Trinidad and Tobago. We are proud of I mean, I'm a proud Trin, Trin Begonian and you know we love here. We're not gonna bad mouth Trinidad and Tobago. We wanna bring it back. And that's why I have faith that we're gonna bring it back. We are gonna bring it back. You and I are gonna bring it back. Let everybody rant and rave. Let everybody talk crap on radio stations and talk this one and bad talk this one and talk about this one and talk about that one. But we're gonna bring it back. We don't wanna back and all. Hi caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. A Sandy Grandy man home was destroyed by fire moments after the owner was found hanging in the garage on Wednesday. Again, a Sandy Grandy man 
home was, was destroyed by fire moments after he was, the owner was found hanging in the garage on Wednesday. The deceased identified as 54-year-old Nimrod Miraj, a.k.a. To, uh, Tawa, was found hanging from a rope by his younger brother, Dinesh, who lives downstairs of the two-story building. The police were subsequently notified and officers from the Sandy Grandi police station, along with the DMO, responded. The district medical officer viewed the body and ordered to be removed to Sandy Grandi Hospital, Mortuary, pending an autopsy at the Forensic Science Center. About 15 minutes after Murad's body was removed from the scene, smoke was seen coming from the top of the floor of the house. Within minutes, the wooden structure went up in flames and residents attempted to out the blaze. However, the entire house was destroyed. That is strange. He was found hanging and then after 15 minutes of the house burned up, he has been identified. The man who was found hanging has been identified as Nirmal Miraj, a.k.a. Tower. This happened, um, he, in fact, he's a truck driver at, of Barker Trace Coal Mine Sandy Grandi. Anybody from Barker Trace Coal Mine Sandy Grandi? Um, if you have any information, get in contact with me, please. Any information. Also, ladies and gentlemen, after several calls from concerned citizens, Pennywise Cosmetics has backtracked its decision to remove its perk and or providing paid lunch hours, paid lunch hours and 15 minutes break for employees with less than four years in the company. Again, after several calls from, the, from concerned citizens, Pennywise Cosmetics has backtracked its decision to remove the perks of providing paid lunch hours and 15 minutes breaks for employees with less than four hours, four years in the company. Pennywise Director Shivan Palladi confirmed that the decision was made in an effort to deal with the increased labor costs following the increase in minimum wage and to prevent passing this additional expense to its customers. However, following several calls from concerned citizens, Pennywise decided to revert to the original agreement. Also, ladies and gentlemen, residents of the penal community blocked several streets with debris and staged a fiery protest to express their dissatisfaction regarding the lane building a new school for children in the area. Residents of the penal community blocked several streets with debris and staged a fiery protest to express their dissatisfaction regarding the delay in building of a new school for children in the area. The residents joined the parents of the St. Dominic's RC Primary School and blocked several streets, including Church Street, Lachus Road, Pinar Rock Road, as, and, as they protested. So this is the, the parents of the St. Dominic's RSC Primary School. They're fed up, and they want a school. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. So I tell you, it's mayhem. It's mayhem all over. Shooting of German instructor Mike. Now you're hearing a, 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 a prison officer shot, another man shot at Samaru Village. A private house, a bar called private house or something like that. Hi, caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Remember, again, continue to subscribe on Ian Allen Network on Facebook. Those of you who are looking at me on Ian Allen Network, go to my network channel, Ian Allen Network on YouTube, and continue to support. Hi, caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Residents fiery protests as Pinar community blocks several streets with debris and stage a fiery protest to express their dissatisfaction regarding the delay in building a school. And that is good, they need a school. Who do like it too bad? They need a school. Hi, good evening, you're live on Crime Watch.
I call a good evening your life on Crime Watch. Also, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, just to let you know, and just letting you know that the Pan American Health Organization, World Health Organization, POW, and will, uh, has warned about the circulation of SARS CoV 2 and uh, uh, a respiratory virus in the region of the Americas as well as the Caribbean. So, the Pan American Health Organization, World Health Organization, has warned about the, circu uh, about the circulation of SARS CoV 2. And other, and, and other respiratory viruses in the region of the Americas as well as the Caribbean. So I'm just letting you know. Also, the police are, uh, this is just a missing person. The police are seeking the public assistance in locating 52-year-old Dinesh Ramdani of Faisabad, who is reported missing after he was last seen in October. If you have any information, get in contact with me, please. Remember, you can WhatsApp me on my 294 4081. Those of you who wish to advertise with us, get in contact with me also. You can WhatsApp me or you can get in contact with the office or so. And the office, the advertising department will get back to you. Those of you up the Caribbean, um, small islands and whatnot, or maybe in the US or London, or and you know, you have the diaspora of, of, of a Caribbean people or viewers who look who locked on to Crime Watch. And as you know, it is in the millions that persons who have advertised with us from the region has indicated they have seen great success. So you all can get in contact with us. Also, 29 year old. Petra Rampersad who was reported missing after she was last seen on the 18th of December 2023. A 29-year-old Petra Rampersad was reported missing after she was last seen on Monday the 18th. Anybody who has any information with respect to Petra, get in contact with me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, so we're still trying to gather whatever information we can get from coming from Samaru Village. I have a little video I, 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 I want to put up just before the shooting. You remember the shooting? Of, of, um, just to put it up to let them know that we are gathering information. The shooting of the, 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 the gym instructor. Right? Look, look at the video. The one, the, the one we had before. We want to go with the, we want to go with the one we had before. Yes. Time is going. Right, so you realize, okay, from the black SUV. I have something to show you to let them know we onto them already. All right, gunman come out. He start to shoot. But I'm going to show you a video now. We're going to post this up. There's a new video. There's a new video that they were fixing the, the SUV before. They're going to fix, they were fixing the SUV. So that's a very easy thing. That is an easy crime to solve. Look at this video. That they were, look at this. So they were in the SUV. Watch it. So the guy come out. This happened before, you know. This happened before. So let them know. So they pretend to be fixing the SUV before. So, so, so it wouldn't be, it, it, you know, nobody will get, sus, will have any suspicion about them. So the guy came out of the car, very interesting here, yeah, very, very interesting. So there's a new development now. So we have a little clip, and there are a lot more coming in. We have more information. We have more information, but as you can see, as you can see, go back in your car, go back in your car. Go back in your car, you pretend to be fixing this car. That's what they're going to do. They're going to pretend to fix car. They're going to pretend to shut down by in front of your office. Pretend to be shutting down in front of your business. You, you know, you need to be... Yeah, so they were, so they were pretending to, to park, they pretended to check in the SUV while they're waiting for the man to come down for the, from the gym. And that is why some of you who go gym on mornings and whatnot and have a routine and go in certain places every day, going to a certain place, every night you're going to a certain place, you have to be real careful. 
You have to be real careful because I always tell people, I always tell people that when you think nobody's watching, people is watching. So we have this video, ladies and gentlemen. It's a new video. It's a new video. It's gonna, they're going to post it up now on my fan page. And those of you who are looking at, those of you who are locked on on my fan page, you're going to get information. You're getting information. So we are out of time now. Remember, you have to be careful out there. It's a jungle out there and you hunt this one. And once we have information, that's why I tell you, don't take this for granted. Once we have information, we are going after them. Once we have information, we're going after them. So it's a beautiful day again and we're going to fight it because every day we're going to fight to make sure we keep this place up and running. We keep this place safe and whatnot. All those of you who are sending me information, thank you again. I'm still trying to gather some more information with respect to Samaru Village, Arima. Still trying Oh, I'm, I just got this, I just got this, I just got this. I just got this. Put up the photograph, I just got information. Around 6 p.m., we are we talking about Samaru Village? Around 6 p.m., victim Kendall Smith, a prison officer at MSP Shagon, of Shagonas. Oh my God, he's from Shagonas. And Kendall Aguilera of Samaru Village, Arima, was lying at the private house established, establishment at Samaru Village, Arima, when a white Nissan AD wagon PDN 6647 stop in front of the establishment. Two occupants, both armed with firearms, alighted from the said vehicle, one clad in black mask and dark colored shirt, open, open fire on the men. We have a photograph. Who is this one? We hear that this is the prison officer. Both men are returned to the white wagon and sped off. They were conveyed to the Arima Hospital by residents in the, of the area in private vehicles. So we, we know the identity. They have been identified as Kendall Smith, a prisoner at MSP of Shagonas and Kedel, Kedel Aguilera of Samaru Village. I'm, yeah, prison officer. A prison officer. Well, sorry, I'm reading fast, you know. Put up all this. So I want to tell you, people, you see, we get information. And stop saying who's selling drugs and who's doing this and who's doing that. Get information right. You understand? Who testing, who's doing this, who's doing that. So again, we know about the shooting. We, we see one, that's why I tell you every day. There's no better show to lock on to, you know. There's no better show. You're wondering what you want to know what's going on in Trinidad. You go up to Ian Allen Network on YouTube, Ian Allen Network on Facebook, start subscribing. Tell your friends and them, tell all your family. Sit down and send it to thousands of people, thousands. Hashtag it, do what you have to do and send and promote the page, promote the Ian Allen Network page, promote the Ian Allen Network on YouTube, Ian Allen Network on Facebook. It's what we don't know, we, we already know. What, what, what's going on in Arima? We know the names, we know, you know, we get any facts and whatnot. And that is what it's all about, giving you the facts, making sure we're not going to hide like the other media houses and just flash something across the screen at a 30 seconds video until the blah, blah, blah shooting here. But we try, I try my best to make sure and get it for you. I try my best. I really, really try my best. So again, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. We're out of time. Whatever information, remember, go on to Ian Allen Network on YouTube, Ian Allen Network on Facebook, and make sure you, 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 you lock on there because during the course of the night, we're going to have people posting. As you know, we have a staff, a, a social media staff there up and we have our thing running. And those of you who want to get your ad on the number one show, our views are phenomenal. We're doing extremely, extremely well. In, uh, in 10 days, ladies and gentlemen, we have already, in 10 days, in 10 days, we have already reached 69, sorry, our, our channel have already reached 69 million. Wow, I love it. 69 million, 420,000. Since we started, 69 million. This year, we're going to pass, we, we're going to pass that, 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 that 100. Yeah, we're going to be, yeah, we're going to pass that 100 million one time, one time. We're going to make sure and get a new, a new, um, a new plaque. We're going to get a new plaque. We're going to get a new plaque. We already have the, this one already, come back to me. We already have this one. We're going to get the, the other one, you know? And it's all because of you. It's all because of you. You're not serious.
right? Ian Allen Network. So ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. Remember, push, we're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing to get the information out, pushing to let you know you be careful out there. Some of you going to your market, going to your business and whatnot. Stop having a routine. Be careful, be vigilant. You need to be vigilant, very, very vigilant. So again, be safe. This is Ian Allen. Thank you again. I'll see you tomorrow.